every successful business has paying clients and customers. Hello, I'm Bernadette Doyle and you're watching Bernadette TV and today we're talking about where to find your paying clients and customers. Now, why is it important to know how to do this? Well, it's important because if you think about it, any successful business, every successful business has paying clients and customers. And one of the things that I've noticed that sabotages people, especially when they're starting a small business, is they're very much focused on what they want to deliver through their business, and they haven't always answered the question, who is going to pay for this? So in today's episode, I wanna get you super focused on who your paying clients are. Who are the people that are gonna hand over money for what you're offering? So what this is really about is matching up what you have to offer and your unique contribution, gifts, expertise, and matching that up with a group of people in the world who really need it, want it, and are willing to pay for it. So I wanna start by reminding you that you already have some type of gift, some type of talent, some area of expertise that corresponds to the needs of a large group of people somewhere in the world. Like I totally believe that, and it's important for you to believe that, for you to be able to make progress in this area. So a lot of people sabotage themselves by saying, well, who am I, and what's special about me, and what is it that little old me has to offer? And frankly, you don't have the luxury of that kind of thinking. You need to start with the expectation and the assumption that you have something that is valuable somewhere. How can I be so certain about that for you? Well, because I believe it's true for every single person on the planet. I believe each of us has unique gifts, unique talents that weren't given to us randomly. We have these gifts and talents because other people in the world need them. This is where our unique contribution is to be made. There's a fantastic quote by an author called Frederick Buchner who said, your vocation is where your passion meets the world's great hunger. And I totally believe in the wisdom and the ecology of that, that the things that you are drawn to do, the things that you're most called to do, do match up. But the point is we need to find that point of alignment. So it's not something you can just be thinking about, well, what do I love to do? You must shift your focus. Your focus has to shift away from you and what you want and onto who are the people that most need my help. So today I wanna to give you six questions that will help you identify who are the most likely paying clients and customers for what it is that you're going to offer. Who most needs what I have to offer? Who do I feel most called to serve? What payoff do people get from my expertise? Who have I already helped? Remember, even if you aren't in business yet, you may have already helped friends, colleagues, family, etc. How have I helped them? What do they have in common? What common goals, needs, wants, or desires do they share? Now, these may seem like six fairly harmless questions, but do not underestimate the power of this exercise because as you start to go through these questions, something very powerful happens. Your focus starts to shift away from you and what you believe is important, and it shifts onto the needs and the wants and the desires of the people that you are most called to serve. And that will make a huge difference. Now, one final thought as you do this exercise, which is this is not a neat box checking exercise. Do not expect that, you know, the answer, it might, it might come to you with blinding clarity, but don't be disappointed if it doesn't. In my experience, anytime I've done this exercise, the answer always appears to me more as a silhouette emerging through fog than a blinding flash of clarity. So don't put pressure on yourself by having an expectation about how the answer is gonna come. So that is the exercise for today. I would love it if you would take on board those six questions and please give me feedback on how these have impacted you. You can do that in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you on an upcoming episode of Bernadette TV.